good morning you guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can see i am dropping miss jana off at school she's actually going to her friend lucy's house today you guys will see that like later in the vlog um we're gonna go over there later it is a friday i got my drink in hand i'm just gonna go mm -mm. okay let me see who's behind us here take the bag oh. bring it to your teacher Close the door. I love you. Love Have a great day at school. Oh, there she goes. Look at her. Well, usually I drop her off in the front. Today, um, they're having some type of discombobulation, but I'm pulling over, honey. I'm pulling over because my baby going to make it safely, and that's on me, honey. Bye, sissy. All right, anything else for you today? That'll be it. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, you too. We is at the car wash. Junior is knocked out, honestly. Thank fucking God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My car is so bad, and I know if Stefan comes home after being a week out, and then I like, my car is a disaster, he's just gonna be devastated. Like. We haven't updated you guys. We've been home for a long time. I cleaned up. We just did some stuff. I took some pictures. Now what are we gonna go do? Now what are we doing? Mm. Where are we going? Stroller. Yeah, he's gonna go on the stroller. We're gonna go for a walk, right? <laughs> yeah. Mama, a yeah. house. We're at our house. And where are we gonna go? And the stola. <laughs> you, like, you like going for a walk? Yeah, walk. Is it your favorite? Yeah, favorite. Aww, I love you. <laughs> your hair is long, huh? Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. I bought you. It is popping. Wow. Look at. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys are gonna watch this. <laughs> well, not watch it, but you watch me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you yeah, just I thinking of something. You yeah, just think. Do okay, put a butterfly on there. Like, for all. <laughs> Girl, well, that's why when I seen your page, I was like, that's it, I'm going to her. I was like, where's she at? Where's she live? Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are so scared. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna wax it. It's supposed to be hot, so if it gets too hot, let me know. Okay. It's supposed to be warm. Ooh, I feel like applying the wax. I'm like, okay, I feel like gripping already. Ooh, I know this is gonna be painful. <gasps> Uh, like, yes. Dripping onto it. I just know it. Oh, I'm so scared. I know it's gonna be painful. Oh my goodness. You got it. I know. And I always tell myself, I'm like, pain is temporary. Pain is temporary, girl. Okay. You're gonna love the results. Yes. Sure. No doubt about it. Whew. Oh my gosh, you guys are terrible. I just went on my lips. Ah, I'm sorry. If I try. <laughs> oh. That was so painful. Oh my goodness. I don't know how people do this. <laughs> Ooh, I'm it terrible. gets easier. I bet. I oh my gosh, y'all. You got this. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. You got this. Yeah, that was the lip. Oh, the lip is painful, y'all. And I had some hair on there, girl. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say. They say the painful. Uh, Is that the lips, yeah. huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so painful. Oh my goodness. Uh, can I add a, the vajation? Show them yes, the, your you guys. The look lip. at this. This is from my lip, y'all. They're not judged. Y'all, but keep, keep your comments to yourself, girl. Look at that. <gasps> you guys. Look at that hair sticking out. Ah! Wow, that is 
so crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right. Look, my coochie already looking good. I'm like, ah, who is she? <laughs> like, new coochie. Right. <laughs> Sorry if you guys are shaking, my AC is on. For some reason, it's making the camera shake. But, you guys, today is gonna be my first ever Brazilian wax. And, to be honest, I already got it done. But, I didn't open the vlog, so here I am opening the vlog. And I did, I got my first ever Brazilian wax, you guys, and it was like, it was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it did hurt. Like, it hurt and I screamed a little bit. I even yelled on one of them, like I screamed, cause it is painful, it's painful. I did record it for y'all though. Ah! And I'm gonna put um, Tatiana's info down below because she's super cool. Like, and she even said like she specializes in like first timers and that's how I felt too. When I first looked at her page, that was the vibe that I was getting. Like, she was like great at first time, like waxes and stuff like that. She talked me through it, girl. She was talking to me and then would just like rip it off, so you would be like distracted. Like it just worked out so good. Um, can I get the green salsa please? Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. And I'm gonna put list all her information down below. If you guys are in the Sacramento area or even the Merced area, she works Merced on weekends. So if you guys are near those areas and you guys wanna get a wax, I'll leave her Instagram down below and I will also, um, yeah, leave her Instagram down below. So, with that being said, you guys, girl, she is, girl, she is waxed, honey. She is waxed, baby. But I am also going to be going out and getting my, um, my feet done. I really feel like I need my lashes. Like, when I look at myself, it looks like I don't have mascara on and I do have mascara on but I don't know if it's girl my eyelashes are just so thin and just they just don't look good so I can get like a lash serum or something like that but honestly at this point girl I'm like I just need to get some lashes baby baby let's get them lashes The reason why I'm eating in my car is um, I was going to go out to like Panera and sit down, but I do have to pick up my daughter from school and my mom's watching my son so I have to go home first and then I have to go pick her up so. This ain't even fucking Sprite. I'm low key kind of irritated I and mean, I got to go inside and tell them. in and out is next to us and I'm gonna be honest in and out is not all that my my man like y'all really be lined up for this like it's some crack in there like they fries don't even be busting honey I truly believe they have the weakest fries out of any fast food chain like girl what is this as skinny as a pencil honey uh uh I need something I'm gonna show you guys a quick little try on haul of everything that I got from Goodwill. I will be washing these. Um, I haven't washed them yet, but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I got. Um, the first piece, starting off with the first piece, I really, sorry, I went there because I really wanted blazers. So I found this really cute blazer. It's eight, it was $8.99. Um, I probably will be taking the shoulder pads out of both of them and then just finding some way to stitch it back up. Like I will, you know, stitch her back up, but I'm going to take the shoulder pads out. I loved the print on this one. So I'm going to try it one for you all. That's why oh, this one's a little too low to the ground. Hold on y'all. Okay. Uh, a little too much for Cause I'm like, if I have pants, then I will show you guys the pants. But as far as the shirt, let me sh let me get into it. Let me get into it. Sorry if you guys are kind of down. But here is the blazer. 
I just felt like this would be so cute with like jeans. Obviously, see how the shoulders are like puffed out? That will be chilled the fuck out, obviously. Um, roll my sleeves, open her up. And the shoulder pads are making it very stiff as well because they're literally sewn to the shoulder pads. So I feel like it makes it pretty stiff. Bitch, I might keep the shoulder pads in. Like, bro, it's the motherfucking model for me. So look, like she looks so cute. And the thing is, this is such great quality. That's the thing, like this is a real blazer. Like someone went and bought this which the quality for this would be like, you know, 40 bucks probably. I don't know, I'm being dramatic. I paid $8.99, I love the print, like I love it. Like it looks so good, like look at her. I don't have a shirt on either because garage is from, let's just knock it out. So this I actually found as well. This was $5 y'all at the thrift store and it's a Fashion Nova top. I'm hoping she fits me because, ooh child. She is tight and I'm gonna tell you right now, this material was so thick, I was like, wow, and it's tight. Like, shh, girl. Hold on. Obviously, I would wear a different bra with this, but. I'm about to have some leather pants come in, some black leather pants. Okay, and then obviously you can zip her down no yes honey and she's holding honey she is holding boo like that's on period okay that's literally on period like i'm just like damn fashion nova like give me the link baby because i'm about to buy me some more honey and like I said, this was $5, y'all, and I thrifted this out, and it is from Fashion Nova, period. Come through, body, okay? Come through, body, period. Okay, the next piece I bought was $6.99, and I'm not gonna lie, this one has shoulder pads as well. These ones will be easier to cut out because it's such, like, thin, cheap material. Looking at the tag, it's, it's definitely looking vintage. Um, when I first bought it, I liked that it was just longer. Um, it was a longer fit. Um, but honestly, I tried it on today and I just wasn't sure how I was feeling about it. But again, you'll see without the shoulder pads, it looks, it looks good. You just gotta have the right pants. You know what I mean? Like, girl, like, period, okay? Like, come through, Blazers. Like, I wanted these coats, but honestly, looking at the price online, I was like, I could buy set three of them for the price that you're selling it online. And honestly, like I said, the quality of them will be like this. No, nothing inside, no pockets, like, just very super cheaply made, and they be $25, $30, so. So I'm just so excited. These were like such great finds. And I paid $6 for this one, $6.99. Don't laugh at this next find. Not that I would care, y'all can laugh if you want. But when I seen it, I know this is like Chinese. It's It might be Chinese, Japanese. I know it, I, I get, it's giving Chinese vibes. Um, but when I seen it, I was like, sis, sis, hold this real quick. Here she go. When I seen this, I mean, maybe not buttoned up, but like, baby, like you finna, you finna sit here and tell me like, no, I'ma do it. And what's so crazy is like I said before kids, I would find something like this and be like, oh hell yeah, girl. And I would style it and it would be grow. But now I get so afraid and I'm like, girl, if you like it, buy it. Girl, if you like it, buy me and my handkerchief. It is so cute, like I love it. I love it, I love it. Like it is just, girl, it's me. It's me, period. Extra, that's what it is, extra. Not me picking up Gianna today in my Chinese coat. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. When I originally found this and I had put the jacket on, okay, I had put this jacket on, I don't know what I was looking at. I don't know what kind of mirror I had, but when I seen the jacket, I was like, this is so cute, like done. I love it, right? But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, 
I do this to myself all the time. Like the last time I bought that Shein haul, like girl, what was you thinking, honey? What was you thinking? So, I mean, ain't nothing that maybe a rolled sleeve can't fix, but still like, I remember putting on the jacket and I was like, sold. This is it, baby. But I mean, like this, it does look really, really cute. So I guess, I guess she right. Look, I guess she's right. She's giving very, you know what I mean? So the pants though, I'm gonna put them over my jeans and you guys will see how they fit. But I'm gonna tailor them myself. I do sew um, and I do know how to sew. So I'm just gonna look into how to sew this material. Thank God the zipper is in the back and not on the side because honey, I'm not messing with no zippers now. But here are the pants. So they are high-waisted and hold on. They are loose though. So now I'll show you guys the pants. They are loose, but let's say I bring it up. I tailor them and snatch them at the waist. Like with the jacket, I feel like it's a look. It's a look. Challenge accepted. I'm gonna take that challenge and honey, we're gonna do it. We're gonna wear it. Here are the next pants that I got that I did not try on. Girl, again, I don't know what, like, uh, why Chanel, bitch, you are not, you don't even have a job. Like that's what be killing me. Like you're a stay at home mom, honey. You don't even have a workplace to go to. So the fact that I literally seen these pants and was like, yeah, period. Like get these work pants, honey. Like, I mean, they could still be a look, you know? Again, I'll probably have to tailor these in just a tad bit or do the shoelace string, which I probably will end up doing that. Um, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll fucking know. Maybe I'll just get that little extra button thing and just tighten it like this. Ooh, the girl no. The girl, the child. Last but not least, y'all, I got these brand new. There was no tag on them, but the little clear thing was still on them. These are H&M pants, y'all, and I got them for $5. Like, look at this. I'm just like, yes, H&M, period. Sorry, you guys, my uh, jeans are on the floor, so. But look at these. Yes, honey, she's giving, period. So I'm so excited and happy that I found these. And girl, that's basically it. That is it. That is it. That is everything that I ended up getting from Goodwill. I did get the kids like some elbow pads. They had brand new uh, Paw Patrol elbow pads for Junior for $2, $2.50 to be exact. And Gianna, I paid $20 for her knee pads and her elbow pads. Yeah, real disrespectful. Then I found her a brand new Anna and Elsa helmet there for $5. And yeah. So she got that, Junior got pads. He also got a little bike and stuff, but obviously I'm not gonna share that on my channel. So with that being said, that pretty much concludes the haul. And I guess let's go ahead and jump back into the vlog, y'all. Bye.